Glenn. Thank you. In welcoming the news about the progress on the feasibility study for the A303, could I ask the Chief Secretary to bear in mind the concerns of my constituents around Stonehenge and Winterbourne Stoke? Unless that is properly unblocked, people won't be able to get down to Devon to enjoy Tiverton and Honiton. And it's something that's been going on for several generations. We need to make sure this is sorted in any plans that come forward next year. Well, I think Stonehenge has been there for more than several generations, Mr. <laughs> Speaker. Um, uh, and I don't intend to remodel it at this dispatch box or anywhere else. Um, uh, but um, he is absolutely right to draw attention to one of the particular issues on that route. That's why we're conducting the feasibility study, to work out what are the right steps to be taken at every stage of the route. Uh, his concerns will have been heard, I'm sure, by colleagues in the Department for Transport, uh, and I will certainly make sure that they're taken on board as that feasibility plan is developed.